I'm Susan O'Dell. Welcome to the Foodell Kitchen. Whenever you roast meats, you typically have a lot of good brown bits that have stuck to the bottom of your pan, and you don't want to lose any of that flavor. So what I like to do is deglaze the pan. Let's have a quick look at what that means. First of all, I've got a nice skillet here. I've roasted a pork tenderloin in here, and look at all these good little brown bits that have been left in the pan. When my pan is still hot from the oven, or you can just reheat it on the stove, I'm going to add a liquid to it. You can either add water or beef stock or chicken stock, but a little liquid just to start it and make it into a sauce. You hear that sizzle? Now I'm going to use a hard spatula. This is really a deglazing spatula, but any spatula that's got a good firm firmness to it, either wooden or metal, and then use that to scrape up all of those bits on the bottom of your pan. Now that I've scraped up all those goodies, I'm going to add just a little bit of wine. This is a Madeira. It's a uh, fortified wine. This is going to give the sauce just a touch of sweetness, which I like with pork. I'm also going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. So we've deglazed the pan, and now, voila, we also have a sauce to, stir, to serve with our pork tenderloin. Now all you have to do is taste it before you serve it. Mmm. It's delicious, nice, slightly sweet, slightly salty. It's going to go perfectly with our pork. And I'm just going to spoon it right over the top. Any meat is better with a sauce. And when you deglaze your pan, you create a pan sauce that's simple and you don't really have to go to any extra effort. Bon appetit.